his name was Judy, and it was just around about eight, eight months old, and it was a, it was because it was black and white, it was a pet, because all the rest of them was, was a brown and white, and that, it was, the mother, she was a bad girl, she jumped over a fence when she was in season, <laughs> she's mad, and that, and he, she got served with a bull, a black and white bull, and the neighbour. And that was the result of it, and called it Judy after its mother, and she got spoiled right enough. Oh my. So what farm was this on, Molly? Cardite Farm. That was Cardite Farm. Where was that? Yeah. Uh, along the road to Ochenloch. It was in the head of it up to Roy, uh, Rob Royston. I was going to say Royston. <laughs> So what's that in the background? That's, that's the, one of the pit bins for the pit. And that, there used to be four of them, but that three of them was away by this time. That was the only one that was left. They used to dash stuff for the roads. And they were making a lot of roads in these days. And that, that. So what pit would that have been then, Willie? Cardown pit. Because they travelled in below the ground for, for God knows the distance. Look at that cut down, out there from cut down pits out there. Right away doing nearly a bridge and cross. All undermined. They used to say when you were lying in bed at night if it was quiet, you could hear the trucks running along. And that's how there was bits places that wasn't built. Because the things had all been taken away and they couldn't have built houses on them. Well they could have but they'd have maybe collapsed. So, so what's there now? What's in that field now? Just know? the field. Just the field now. Nothing else. So they've not built on that now? No, no. Well, no, they've no since the last time I was out that way. They've been out for a while. It's not likely to be. <laughs> Hardly bloody any buses goes out there. And that for, for one every hour. Going out to Ochenloch and then down to, down to Lenzi. So would you worked in that farm? Would you lived on that farm? Oh, I stayed yeah, for seven years. Mm -hmm. Just nearly seven years I was there. Oh, I enjoyed my time there. It was handy and that had been else. Changes come along and there you are. So what happened to the calf? Sold when it came to the calf and its first calf. Then they went a black and white coat in the buyer amongst the other brown and white ones. Why was that? Ask me again. I don't know. Just John Bell said he was selling it. Is and I said, you're joking. I'm selling it. Black and white crews no come in here amongst the other ones. They were all Ayrshire's. See, that was a cross. They were kind of strict. And so I just left it. He got away about £150 for it. And that was a great price in those days. And it was the colour that sells it. And away to Aberdeen. A dealer for Aberdeen that bought it. So he would like to sell it on to some firm up there. And, but the, oh no. So did you miss her? Oh, I did because I had her wasted when she was a cove. Wasted nearly them all. Paid at them all. <laughs> and did they recognise you? Oh, I used to shout their names, lift their head and move. Just like if you shout to a cat, his name it meows. But uh, no, no, it was, oh, I never good days. So what was your favourite? My favourite was Joan. Jo I've got a photo of somewhere about, but she was my favourite. Joan that? Bell said she ate all the big turnips. But the, uh, the rest of them all got the wee ones and she got the big ones. Just, I, oh, I just liked the crew and that. She was a nice crew. That's how I've got that that coup there, down there, dead like that. And I had a photo of the thing, and I placed it made the hands. I took it into them and asked them if they could make the thing. That cost me £200, but I wasn't caring. So did they paint it for you? Was it on there? Aye, it was on I got it like that. Aye. Oh no, I didn't care. That £200 it cost. 
So how long did they last? Well, she's still here yet. <laughs> how long would the cow, would you, how long would you had the cow for? Well, well, it depends how they milked. Some of them was good milkers and you got that didn't give you half of what they did. That was the one you sell to get rid of. For bring in youngins in a place. Why not? So you paid £200 for an ornament. Would the cow would have been, would the real cow have been worth £200? I doubt it. I wasn't caring. I just wanted the ornament. It was cool. It just... Sometimes I sit earlier and I look at the thing. I'll say, I wonder what will happen to that when I'm not here. Because who, who doesn't know it's interesting and likes of these things? What's going to happen to all the ornaments I've got? These three hens, they were my mother's. And she's, God knows the year... 1943 she died, 2nd of January, and that never, they were hers. As far as I can mind, they were always in the house. I mean, you never get them to come in and say, oh, I like your hands, eh? Like that. And conus, that's what they are. That was the breed of hen they were in conus. You know, you got them all different breeds. But nowadays, it's all the hybrids and things that are in there. 